guys. to go sure. um I need to think I know I had them yes last night dang it <laughs> oh here they are right on the floor turn my car on real quick I like to turn my car on so I can warm up a little bit and I don't have to wait as long I can crank my car up from um, anywhere as long as I'm close enough, which is awesome because it's very important to warm your car up apparently according to Kenny. So that's what I do. Got my breakfast, I've got grapes and then these like, I don't even know what they're called but we eat them a lot. I don't know but there's, they're like these little rice crackers with stuff on the inside. It has taro on the inside. I grew up eating these and my water and i don't really have time to make my bed this morning which i used to hate making my bed i used to think it was ridiculous when i was younger my grandma would always be like why didn't whenever she came over she would be like why didn't you make your bed and i'm like why would i make my bed if i'm gonna get right back in it when i get home and now i'm like i can't even stand not making my bed so grandma's right oh take turn the heat off that is important left the heat on all day one day and it was so hot like it's cold in the mornings it's cold in the mornings, but then it gets hot chilly this morning it's 44 degrees and it's supposed to be really warm so hopefully it warms up because i am not into this cold weather it's so weird because um like christmas time and the holiday time when you think it's supposed to be cold in the south it's hot and then around this time it's almost april like it's going on april now and it's not like it's very weird Alrighty. So they always give us these masks, and I never use them. I always use the same ones. So I'm gonna use this today. 
off of work and getting something to eat for lunch. I just don't feel like cooking right now, so I'm gonna eat lunch first and then I'll cook later for dinner. This is what happened yesterday and I didn't cook, but I'm gonna cook real. Only reason why I didn't yesterday is because I forgot to take out, forgot to take out the food, so to defrost. And I was like, yeah, well, that's not gonna happen today. Really nice day, so much better than yesterday. Yesterday it was cold, raining, and you know, no sun. Hello, can I get a, um, I was raving about how much, I was like, oh my God, it's a dollar cheaper at this Wendy's than the other one I, I went to. And then I saw the drink, I'm like, oh, the drink is small. <laughs> but it's such a big comparison, like the medium sized drinks at Wendy's are like a large, but I don't I, I don't know what size they gave me, but it was, it's like literally like super small, probably around the size of this, maybe a little bit bigger than this, than this can. I need to clean my car out. This is like, also they gave us these free masks, but I don't like them. I'm gonna give them to some family members who have a smaller face than me. <sighs> also fighting with my unit, not fighting, but having issues with them. Oh, guys. Whenever you, I just want to give the, I just want to make this clear, like, when you guys are in a leadership position, um, like, in any branch of the military, take care of your soldiers. It is so important. Uh, it's so important to take care of your soldiers. Um, I have been in a lot of situations, a few situations with this, with, I guess with both units, but mostly the one that I'm at now. And it's just like, if you can help somebody and you're just, you're not, like that's something's wrong with that, you know? And mental health in the army, um, I'm, I know the army and the Marines have like the highest suicide rates in all of the branches. Um, I don't know like which one's higher, but they're like really up there compared to the other branches. But a lot of it has to do with, um, just having issues like family issues or whatever which everyone does and your unit is not helping and they are able to hold on one second thank all right thank you service. thank you you too thank you so Ooh. anyway as i was saying um yeah a lot of the times like stuff like that happens and it, i know it's like really deep um it's really deep, but like it's true. If a soldier is having an issue, um, you know, it, it's our job as NCOs to make sure they're taken care of. It's our job. Also, I was gonna talk a little about a bit about retirement and stuff. I know a lot of a few people had like some questions about it and how that works and whatever. And I'm just gonna explain it to you guys in the simple way as possible. Um, from my point of view and like what I'm doing with my retirement um, So I started my retirement um, There's like different plans that you can do and the army does not teach this shit ever Or they'll do a crash course on it when you're in AIT and don't know what the hell they're talking about I mean as an 18 year old fresh out of high school There's no way you're gonna quite understand like what that is if you're not sat down and like Gone and like someone go through it with you if that makes sense and even grown-ups, you know even my at people at my age it's very confusing and there's just so many things that you know that could be out there but I'm on a thing called the TSP which is um, the thrift savings plan and basically I have it set up where it takes 10% of my check um, you can do a little bit lower that is kind of high like just for starting out but I wanted to do something a little bit higher and eventually um, like I'll do um, I'll probably raise it up a little bit more, but I'm gonna actually be starting a Roth IRA pretty soon. So I'll have two different streams of income um, when it comes to like retirement and stuff. And that's a whole nother thing to talk about Roth IRAs. Um, it's really simple, but it's really hard when you don't exactly know what they mean and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so I have a thing called TSP, which is a thrift savings plan. 
um, and I think that's mostly like what um, soldiers my age are on I know there's like this blended retirement thing that they have for people who've been in the army or the military I don't know about all the other branches I'm just speaking from the army but I'm pretty sure they're like basically the same hold on I'm running out of memory um, yeah so there's different different things that you could do but from I would recommend for soldiers my age um, who are just starting out or even if you're my age and you've been in for a while um, and you're just wanting to start it because I actually didn't start mine until a little bit later in my career because I just didn't I didn't know and I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay in the army or not cost of living is a lot higher and it's just a lot more money to live um, in this day and age and you know you don't want to be working until you're 60 like I don't want to be working at 60 I want to be on a plane going on vacation or something um, but if you do have some questions um, that maybe I didn't cover um, about it let me know and I will answer it to the best of my to the best of my ability and if I don't know the answer I will find out and get back with you okay I am about to tear that up my um Wendy's but first the back. Uh, I'm going to watch The Crown to cheer myself up from the situation and cook dinner later. Oh, shit is so ridiculous. Like, I wish I could explain like what happens, but I I have so many stories of so many effed up stories that I have experienced in the military um, that I would have to wait till I'm done in the military. Um, and don't get me wrong, there are some good, like, you know, pros and whatever to it, but people ask me all the time, do you ever regret joining the army or do you like it? And I'm like, it's a love-hate relationship. I'm just gonna put it that way. About that, let's talk about more cheery things, like this Wendy's that I'm about to eat. Oh, I need to charge my computer. It's dead, like dead, dead. So I changed the plans since Kitty Bear. Um, obviously, I, if you guys couldn't tell, I was kind of had a bad day today. So um, not a bad day, but just some people just really know how to blow your high some days, and that like you know I was just kind of disappointed and um, yeah, just feeling let down by your leadership is like the worst kick in the balls ever. So. He offered to, um, he offered, what am I saying? He offered to um, bring me um, some of my favorite seafood from my favorite seafood place. So we're just gonna eat out today. <laughs> totally failed at cooking um, this week, but it'd be like that sometimes. Also, I came out to water my plant and there it is right there. Um, yeah that's that happens um i'm just gonna leave it there if kenny uh i told kenny about it so if he brings it up <laughs> i'll um hopefully i can revive it but it's probably been there for like a couple days i think the wind um like we had a storm the other day or it was like raining and windy all day um was it yesterday or the day before um so that's why that's like that what did you say i throw that whole month no you're not keep playing <laughs> How does it work? It was good. Don't good. don't play with me. Don't play with you what? <laughs> he said <laughs> He said if I don't talk stop talking shit, he's gonna throw my food away. He yeah, doesn't man, and then he doesn't care if he bought it. <laughs> you don't gonna throw my food away. Throw it right in the damn trash right when you look at me too. And I'll eat it out of the trash. Well, That's a new trash bag. Huh? That's a new trash bag anyway. Well, don't play with me, Kimmy Carver. Right? Don't start to shh. Matter of fact, I have to take the whole thing go drive it to the dumpster and throw it away. Kenny. Let me just get a little bit more. I knew you wanted some more rice. I knew it. Kenny. I knew you wanted some more rice. I wasn't going to say anything until you mentioned I'm like, well, yeah, maybe I can get just a little bit more. I knew you wanted more rice. Have a little bit of rice you got. A little plain. That's good. Thanks for making dinner. Yeah. His specialty. Yeah, I had this out. Huh? Oh, that's something I need to return, but I just never. I had a month to return it, and it's due to be returned on uh 
Sunday. So I'll do it. Tomorrow, I guess. She looks, she gave you extra. See, she gives you extra when you go. <laughs> Kenny, I don't ever get this much. It's not, no, I don't know. It's true. I don't get this much. I'm putting all the rest Huh? I'm putting all the rest That's fine. 